All right, welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Uh, my name is Kofi Bartels. Um, of course, I'm Gola Gaji uh, here with me as we do justice to the important issues of the day. Uh, top trending stories today. We have um, the importance of regular mental health checks. Um, I mean, we're not professionals in that field, but I think um, it, it's, it's, it doesn't take us to say to know Yango that, mm -hmm. you know, you need to, to have, you know, regular mental health checks. <laughs> <Yeah>. well, <some laughs> Where people, was the last time you had a, a, a mental health don't check? Don't even ask me. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it has been proposed by a lot of people that yeah. even the politicians, before they go into a, any elective position, there should be regular checks for them because the pressure that we are possibly going to have and so many other things, it breaks a, a lot of them down. People who are going into the police and army, they should have these uh, checks. But it doesn't end with these people. Everybody uh, needs these uh, checks. You H know? Hence my question, when was the last time you had I a, never a regular have. health check, a mental health I check? I have never. Let me not tell you a lie about it. And that is a, 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 a general thing for most Nigerians, even going to a regular hospital when you're sick, oh. is as if, oh, it is at the point of death if you go to hospital and all that. So, and so then there's the t stigma that you, makes people yes. not to go. So, so do you believe, do you believe that um, uh, the way you go for your regular check, you know, medical checkup, they check your BP, they check your, your sugar level, you know, check your, your heart rate, you know, they check every other thing, okay, your weight, that that same way you should also go see a shrink every now and then. <laughs> I mean, Why is I, it funny I, to you? No, I mean, as you are here now, I haven't seen you doing anything, you know, to suggest that you're going cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, but that's, that's, so, that's the, the mistake we have. I mean, have. if you go see a, 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 a shrink, you know, on a, you know, you're starting. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to you. Okay, yeah. well, you see, Nigerians... Nigerians have this phobia of going to hospital, as it is. Even for the regular checks that you're talking about, how many people even go for that, except you're really, really down? Otherwise, they like the off-the-counter drugs. They like this and that. But mental health, over the years, here in Nigeria, it's, it's something that once you go for it, people be, tend to, to term you as someone who has gone gaga. But sometimes you have the stress that if you don't work on, might result in something else. But because you are afraid that people should not know that you've gone to a psychiatric hospital or you've visited a, a shrink, we don't tend to go. But the good thing is, today we're going to have an expert, right? Yes. Who will tell us some of the things that we need to do. We'll have a dietitian, you know. But, but um, you know, if it was in Calabar, they'll say you should go to Calabar Road. <laughs> in Lagos, they tell you go to Yaba, Yaba, Yaba Left. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, in Portugal, they tell you to go to Psychiatric Road. Mm. You know, so, but um, um, whilst we may not be able to give people, you know, solid advice, professional advice about how to go about this, we can only say what the experts say. Um, but, but I think the important thing is if people feel down, you know, experts always say if people feel down, if people feel, um, uh, uh, feel anything at all, there's nothing wrong in going out to see. Depression is real. You yes, know. yes, you know. And, and, and in Lagos, we've seen a lot of this over the past few months and years that people have taken their lives. You know, so it's important to, to talk to someone, you know, to try and just clear your head. You know, yeah, well, I was telling some of my, 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 my followers, you know, some time ago that I, I, I don't know when I started talking to myself in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When I started talking to myself in, in, in the car, driving in, I started talking to myself. I don't know if it's pressure, you know, or it's road rage, you mm. know. One day I just I shouted on someone on the road. And yeah. I couldn't someone do someone said, if you live in Lagos, you're due for. <laughs> <laughs> this was in Port Harcourt, by the way, but well, in, let's make it Lagos, Nigeria. In yeah, Lagos, Lagos, someone was saying, once you live in Lagos, just know that going to visit a shrink should be a regular thing. Because it's crazy in Lagos. <laughs> it is you know, crazy. You know? Your wake up time, the work yeah. pressure, the everything about Lagos, mm -hmm. it's so different from what you get from everywhere mm -hmm. in Nigeria. So we need these regular checks. But we laughed it off. <laughs> you know, you know, I was I was in the forum where someone started to, you know, like they say, change it for us. Mm -hmm. You know, a person was just going mad, going crazy, shouting, trying to just get on our nerves. And I said, see, oh boy, come. All of us mad. <laughs> no, be only you mad. All of us get our craze. 
So calm down. You were talking like a Lagos man. Yes, because if I show you my own too, we will not go here today. So calm down. Um, but I've heard it said before that everybody has uh, an a amount percentage of, of, madness. of madness. Yeah. I don't know if you agree with that. I'm not the expert, but they say so. But uh, I tend to believe it is possible because it sort of like hides in there and it needs something to trigger it. Once something triggers it, you, you bring the other side of you that sometimes you do not recognize, even though you are the one exhibiting it. So we should have some elements of uh, mm. that mm -hmm. madness as, mm. it, as it is. Mm. But how much you can control it is mostly out of our own control. Mm. You know, it's and just, you need expert help. Yes, I think it's a very important subject that we need to have an expert come in and really educate us on that. But um, what I've, I've, I've heard some of them say is that um, you know, people get a lot of pressure, like you said, life in Lagos. Mm -hmm. uh, the pressure of, of life can get to certain people, you know, and then they hit that breaking point. You know, sometimes people do things to cope. Mm -hmm. And people think, oh, when we're talking about mental health, you must be, you know, you scare yourself naked on yeah. Tabulan Bridge or you start dancing and we no longer go by. And just, no, no. It's, it's a whole, you know, lot more than that, you know, that we will, I'm sure in the future, talk about in depth.